Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be reviewing two power stations at the same time. Uh, let me let's meet the contestants. I have um, EcoFlow, River Three Plus, and uh, an Anchor Solix C three hundred. Um, the EcoFlow comes with a AC charger. And I think this one is a communication cable. I don't know what you use it for. And also, um, the car with the charger right here. And the anchor only comes with this uh, AC cable. And that's about it. And um, these products, this one was uh, $210. And this one is selling right now at uh, $190. So let's see if this one is worth the $20 premium. Okay. Uh, this one has a battery capacity of 286. This one has a battery capacity of 288. But I did a capacity test and this one produced uh, 255 watt hours and this one 243 watt hours. So this one is 84% and this one was 85%. And also this one has a 600 watt in, uh, watt inverter and this one has 300 watt inverter they both have three AC output this one has three right here and this one has one and also it has two in the back okay and um, on the DC side this is where it shines this one it has three USB-C and this one only has one USB-C and two um, USB-A and this one the two uh, USB-C's the output 140 and this one it's only 100 and also in this one one of the USB-C is a bi-directional which means you can charge it using 140 or you can also discharge using 140 this one is only uh, discharge but uh, on the AC side this one can charge at 380 watts and this one can charge it 330 watts this one also it comes you can buy an expansion battery uh, I think it's a uh, 572 watt hours but I don't know for me at this size I don't think it's worth to buy an expansion battery but this one takes about 100 watts of solar over here in the front 100 watts and the input voltage is 11 to 28 this one can take up to 220 watts and the input voltage is 11 to 55 volts so this one i mean that's amazing with that because this one you can charge with the 12 volt back uh, battery or a 24 volt battery this one you can charge with uh, almost up to 40 volt battery but it's going to cut up the um, wattage to uh, 220 and what i like about both uh this one weighs about nine pounds and this one weighs about 10.5 and after using it this one it's they are both quiet but if you are using DC like um, over here, if you're using to charge anything, this one makes a little bit louder sound whenever you're charging something, like a clicking sound, this one doesn't do that. But at the end of the day, uh, which one would I recommend? Um, based on the price and what it comes with and how they operate, um, I'll give it to EcoFlow. It has a bigger inverter, it charges faster, and the battery capacity, it was more efficient. And also another thing I did was, I left the inverters on, on both of these for six hours. So when I came back after six hours, this one was at 80, uh, from 100, was at 84%, and this one was at 88. So this one, even though it has a bigger inverter, it was more efficient than this one and out of the box 
this one comes with uh, more more cables and this AC cable is six foot and this AC cable is only about three foot and it's it's like small not only is it short it's not as thick as this one right here and then on top of that you can use your car charger which comes with this one so that's more so for twenty dollars extra uh i think this one is worth it you're worth uh, the twenty dollars extra and also this one uh the ecoflow it has one feature i really like if you discharge this to zero percent while using your ac inverter and then it dies when you start charging it after it gets to above five percent it will turn the inverter on without you needing you uh, to do anything. This one doesn't do that. And this is amazing right here, um, that feature. For example, like let's say you are using a Wi-Fi router and then it dies because it doesn't have any power, but uh, the sun comes back in the morning, it charges to like maybe five, 10%. This one will come back on, this one does not. You have to go and turn it back on the inverter or you have to turn it on on your app and also these uh, products they do support Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and they also have an app for both of them but the app on this one is just does more you can dial some things up and down I mean it's amazing so I mean for my money I would say EcoFlow takes this one but this one is really good too it is quiet, efficient, and I love it. So for my money, I would say you could float take this one. But uh, you couldn't go wrong with either one of them. So uh, that's it for today. And thank you for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video.